All right, guys, it's blue. You have yet another new piece of EDC. Uh, this is a, an impact tool that is made by the company ASP. And as you guys can see, it is called the Protector P16. This thing is awesome. I absolutely love this thing. I've carried an ASP uh, for 17 years now uh, in the profession I'm in. However, this thing is awesome for EDC. This is not a, I, I don't consider this an on-duty unless you're undercover type deal or maybe a detective that's playing clothes. I think it would work great for that, but uh, for standard patrol duty, I, I, I stick with the bigger one. Um, let's see here, the ASP P16. It is a friction lock baton, which basically means you flick your wrist, all the mechanics come out and it locks in place with friction. Um, we'll let's go over some of the specs real quick on this baby. It is six and one quarter inches closed. It, whenever it extends out, which I'll do here in a second, it's a 16 inches. Uh, the weight on it is 7.4 ounces. So, I mean, that baby is light. Uh, the handle on it, as you guys can see here, it's textured and everything. Uh, it's a 7 8 diameter uh, handle, and it is textured uh, just so you get that little extra grip because you don't want to snap it out and or be swinging at it with sweat on your hands and it go flying out of your hands. So uh, the handle is made of, I don't know what these numbers mean, it's the typist of aluminum, I guess. Uh, it is a 7075T aluminum. Uh, and the shaft, once I open that up, it's a 4041 steel. Um, and you guys can check this out. You can get it pretty much off of anybody online. And it retails anywhere between what I've been seeing, $45 uh, and $60. So if you look around and shop around, you can definitely get this for, for about $45. Bucks. So uh, review on it. I like it. I mean, I like it a lot. I carry this around with me. And people just think that I have a, uh, a flashlight in my pocket. Uh, there's no issues with weight. There's no issues with it falling out of the pocket, anything like that, uh, which is actually surprising because this little thing right here, your pocket clip, this is the only bitch that I have about this entire product. It is a well-crafted product, and then they put a spring-loaded plastic pocket clip on it. You know, I think they could have stepped it up and, you know, charged a little bit more for a, a steel pocket clip, but as of now, I mean, there's been no, uh, there's been no issues with it. I just... You have such a great product made out of aluminum and steel, and then you top it off with a piece of plastic. That just kind of, you know, it was different. I, I didn't really care for that. Uh, it is made in the USA, so that, again, awesome. Support your local uh, product manufacturers. And uh, let's open the book up here real quick. I'm not going to go through everything. If you see something that you're interested in, go ahead and pause it. But I'm not going to sit here and, and read all of it. Uh, I've pretty much covered the basics on it. Um, this is considered a less, well, it's, actually it's both. It could be a less than lethal force tool, and it also could be a lethal force tool. Uh, you know, basically just think about it if you have a ball bat and you're defending yourself from just somebody that wants to fight, you know, something like that. You hit them in the head and you kill them, you just use deadly force. Um, you know, so they, they tell you stay away from the head, the neck, the back, and the groin are the, the shots that you don't want to take because uh, that is considered lethal force. Uh, the less, less than lethal force is anything to the trunk, arms, hands, legs, uh, that, that type of extremity. So it is kind of a dual purpose. It could be considered lethal depending on how you use it. So make sure that you uh, familiarize yourself with the uh, equipment before you do anything. Uh, all right, I'm going to pause this real quick and we'll open it up to the extended. Uh, actually, I'll probably do it one-handed, but it's not going to be a great. And this is left-handed, so don't laugh at me if I mess it up. Hey, look, came open left-handed, but it's just a real quick flick of the wrist and it's not, it's, you know, it's not going to uh, come back into the shaft or into the handle uh, for storage until you, you hit it off the floor. And I would suggest um, anybody that's never used one of these concrete, asphalt, uh, that type of thing, I would feel comfortable closing it on. Uh, depending on how hard it locks up, sometimes it is a bitch to get it closed. Uh, so like, uh, hell, what kind of floor is that? Like, you know, hardwood floors, uh, laminate floors, tile floors. I've actually seen those get busted whenever people are trying to close it on those. So don't do it. Uh, there's the end cap there, the tip. Uh, that's what you're, you know, you're going to be trying to, to strike the individual with, uh, for defensive purposes. And... 
it's broken into two sections. There's one, two, and then the handle. So I guess it'd be three sections. But yeah, definitely awesome for an EDC for everyday carry. Put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, put it somewhere um, so that if you might not need to use a firearm, have a backup for something less lethal. All right, guys, that's it for the product review of the ASP, the P, is it the P16? Yes, P16. Uh, go check them out. I'll put websites for their actual uh, web website. And then, like I said, you can shop pretty much anywhere and find it. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the bottom.